So spiders are some of the ultimate land predators, cunning eight-legged hunters that can spin silk traps in the dark corners of our homes. But what if I told you that spiders came from the ocean? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? See, this tiny fossil, just millimeters long, was discovered in the mid-Cambrian rocks of what is now British Columbia. It's called Molisonia symmetrica, and it's flipping our understanding of spider evolution on its head. See, roughly 515 million years ago, during the Cambrian explosion, life diversified in the oceans at an unprecedented rate. And among the bizarre forms were the ancestors of modern arthropods, basically creatures with exoskeletons, segmented bodies, and jointed limbs. And scientists have long debated where spiders and their relatives, so scorpions, ticks, mites, where they fit into the puzzle. Most agreed that they were terrestrial descendants of what we call chelicerates. One example being the horseshoe crab, which looks completely alien. But the details? Messy, disputed, and in many cases, missing. But that's where Molisonia symmetrica comes in. A fossil which was until recently just another weird, bizarre Cambrian arthropod. A team of researchers from the universities of Arizona and King's College London found something rather amazing. They used advanced light microscopy to peer beneath the surface of this fossil and what they found was a brain. But it wasn't just any brain, it was a brain with a reverse structure, a tiny neural architecture that mirrors what we see in living spiders and scorpions. It means spiders and their relatives didn't just develop these in terrestrial environments. No, they had these before they even ventured onto land. This puts the Molisonia right at the base of the arachnid family, just above the sea scorpions and the horseshoe crabs. It is the closest thing we have to a common marine ancestor of the arachnids. See, this fossil may not look like much. It's tiny, it's small, but it packs over half a billion years worth of history in it, of brains evolving, of bodies transforming, and life making leap to land. And one of the most mind bending things, I suppose, is before these creatures dominated the land, and I mean dominated, their brains were already wired for it. Isn't that crazy? If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.